Renaissance fans, Renaissance Cam here back in effect. Welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, if y'all new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to be alerted when these videos drop. First and foremost, I would like to wish everybody a, a Merry Christmas, a Happy Holidays. We are out here fishing today um, on actually Christmas Day. Today's um, December 25th, uh, 2020. And um, yeah, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. Um, I hope y'all continue to subscribe. Um, we are at 1,600 subs almost, so let's keep the ball rolling, all right? Today we are out here sheep's head fishing. Today we'll be catching these sheep head on strictly oysters, all right? I don't have any fiddler crabs. I don't have any artificial lures. We're just using oysters, all right? So I'm going to try to scavenge as many oysters off this bank as I can, but just in case, I do want to try these oysters right here that I got from Publix. Um, they're Pacific oysters, so I mean... We're gonna try. They look, they look pretty decent. So we're gonna try to soak these in the same water that's out here, and try to liven them up a little bit. Maybe they work, maybe they don't. But I know for a fact that these oysters on this bank over here work. So we're gonna try to get as many of those as we can without freezing our hands over. And we're gonna meet y'all out there. All right. Alright guys, so we made it to our spot and uh, I kind of want to show y'all what I'm using. So we got a 7 foot medium action rod here. Some good stiffness to pull them from around the pylons once they try to get me hung up. A uh, nice little spinning reel with, um, I think this is 20 pound braid if I'm not mistaken. We got a small little barrel swivel there, you can see it, make sure y'all can see it. to a small, really small, eighth ounce weight, bullet shot weight. This is, they call it a bullet shot, but it's not, it's just a small weight, that's all it is. And then we got a small number one, number one hook, right? Y'all can see that, number one hook, really small. These fish are also known as convicts, all right? And not only because they have the stripes, but because they are notorious for stealing your bait. So. You have to be on your P's and Q's every time you fish for these fish, all right? Be as stealthy as possible. The, the more weight you have, the harder it's gonna be to feel these fish. So you wanna go with light as, as light of a weight as possible and small of a hook as possible with the lightest of leaders, all right? These fish can see really good and they, they can sense when something's up. So if you can remain stealthy with these bad boys, you can catch them all day, all right? Now another thing, I'm gonna try those Publix um, jarred, these oysters right here, I'm gonna try these out, all right? Cause I wanna make sure that they work before I start going to get oysters every time. These oysters that I got are free, so I can't really complain, but it, it, it's, it, it's really messy when it comes to cracking them open on the boat. And at the end of the day, your boat is disgusting after you use oysters, all right? These oysters are already shucked, so I don't have to shuck them or anything, so. I'm gonna show y'all how to shuck these oysters without hurting yourself, all right? Major key right here. You gotta get an oyster shucker or some type of spoon. I wouldn't recommend a knife because that's how you get hurt. Then you're gonna need an oyster. Now, these oysters here, some of them are already cracked open. See, like this one right here? It's already cracked open and there's your little bit of, there's no meat in this one, okay? But when it comes to cracking an oyster, all you wanna do find a seam. See, there's a piece of meat right there already hanging out. That right there, we're just going to take that out. Now, you don't want to, a lot of people ask me, oh, do you use the shell? No, I don't use the shell. The shell, you can't get a hook through the shell. There's no point in using the shell. And sheephead, I don't even think they like the shell, right? They want the stuff that's inside. So, take that oyster like that right there, turn it nicely, and there's your meat. Your meat comes right out just like that right there. Look at all that. That's what you want. That's what you want to fish with this stuff right here. That's what you want right there. You don't want to fish with this shell. You want to fish with this peach right here. And you can probably, you can probably get maybe 
two fish out of this whole piece right here. You see that right there? Let me see this right here. You can get two or three fish out of this whole piece. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna break this in half, right? See that right there? We're just gonna take it and we wanna conceal this hook as much as possible. We don't want any bit of this hook showing. We want it all to be. And make sure you have a really sharp hook too as well because a lot of times they'll sell you those dull jigs and every time you go to set the hook it literally falls out of its mouth so make sure you got something that you can really pop it to them with and conceal that hook so see this right here that's the simple rig right there yeah that's all you're gonna need right there that's gonna catch them every time all right now it's time to get some fish all right guys now another tip i do want to show y'all and this is foolproof you know what i'm saying all you gotta do is take some type of hammer or whatever you got and knock some of these barnacles down. Knock them off of these piles here. And that just turns up the water. It brings them out. There you go. So first you wanna drop it all the way to the bottom, right? It's gonna happen pretty fast now. You're gonna drop it to the bottom. The current's going that way, so you wanna make sure you get it close enough down to the bottom. And just wait. Do not put your rod down, cause I'm telling you, these jokers are slick. There you go, there you go, there you go, there you go. Sheepy, sheepy, come here. Come here. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. There he is, there he is, guys. Come on up. Nice one, here. Real nice. That's a nice one right there. That's a nice one right there. Two do all on Look at that guy. See that right there? That's a nice one there. That's a nice one there. Joker hit. You gotta set the hook. There you go. There you go. Ugh. Trout bait. Ugh. Got another. Got another. Got another. Got another. Got another. Oh! Big one. Big one. Big one. Big one. Whoa! This guy's huge. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> Come on up, big boy. Come on up. Oh my god, I haven't even seen him yet. Come here, big boy. Oh, yes, sir. That's a nice one there. That's a nice one there. This is a nice one. Nice one. Not the current. That's what's messing me up. The current. Come here, big boy. Come here. Come here, big boy. Come here. <laughs>
hot, guys. The wind is considerably it is freezing out here. Not a bad day on the water. Considering the fact that I just put my room in the water, and it probably 